Welcome back to A Taste of K. I'm back with another cooking video and today I'll be making some coconut white rice. The ingredients I'll be using is two to three tablespoons of the avocado oil, one tablespoon epis blanc or minced garlic, two and a half cups of water, one can of coconut milk, salt to taste, as well as two and a half cups of jasmine white rice. In a pan that has been heated, I'm going to add about three tablespoons of the avocado oil. Once the oil has been heated through, I'm going to add one tablespoon of epis blanc. If you would like to see the video on how I make epis blanc, you could go ahead and click the link in the description box below. You can also use minced garlic. The epis blanc is basically a mixture of the white portion of the green onion, some garlic, as well as some shallots, which I did blend with some oil. I'm going to allow the epis blanc to fry in this oil for about two to three minutes. I am constantly stirring it so it does not burn. After three minutes, I'm going to add a little bit of water. I add the rest of the two cups of water into the pan. Then I'm going to add in one can of the coconut milk. The same can that had the coconut milk, I'm going to add half a cup of water, give it a quick shake and place it into the pot as well. I'm also going to add salt to taste. Then allow this liquid to come up to a boil. Once this liquid have come up to a boil, I'm going to give it a final taste to see if I need to make any adjustments. I did add a little bit more salt. Remember, what this liquid tastes like is what your rice is going to taste like. In the meantime, I'm going to give my rice a rinse with cool water about three times until the water run clear. Now I'm going to place the clean rice into this coconut broth. I'm going to lower the temperature to an egg that's like a medium high on my stove, and I'm going to give it a quick stir. I'll allow this rice and the liquid to cook until the liquid is almost gone. Once the liquid is almost gone, I'm going to give it a final stir, cover it with the lid and lower the temperature to a number four, which is a medium low. I'm going to allow this to cook for about 30 to 35 minutes without removing the lid. Before I get to the end of the video where I show you the final product of this coconut white rice, I want to say thank you for stopping by A Taste of K. If you've made it to this part of the video and you have not subscribed, go ahead and do that now. Once again, thank you for stopping by A Taste of K. I'll see you in the next video.